This is Southeast Par Sports. We have a customer with a 2012 Skidoo GSX 600. Complained the fuel gauge is not working. And they had somebody else put a fuel gauge sender in it and it still didn't work. And once I got into this, I can see that it's an aftermarket sender. But we're going to show you how to test it. A real easy way to test it without having a drinking fuel tank or anything. So on the OEM one, there's an inline fuse in here. There's no fuse in this one. And then they have a specific arrow what, which way it's supposed to point up. And there's no arrow at all. So I just go by it, put the pictures in the manual and show you that it's got to be pointed up like so. Kind of hard to see. So it's almost tilted a little bit to the left. <clears throat> and then you can see the ohms changed. And this actually rotates your sender inside the tank. So you can see the ohms going down or up. The more you twist it. So <clears throat> we know the sender works. The ohms are changing. Spec is between 7 and 95. take this we're going to double check It's all in one view here. So the pins on the gauge is pin 12 and 15. If you look on the gauge, you can see the numbers are actually on it. So pin 12 is right here, this first one. And it starts on the other side, 13, 14, 15. And I gotta plug the sender back in. <clears throat> okay, there's my 33 ohms, which we had down there. And I'm going to twist the sender. changed so we know the senders good the wires going to the gauge are good in this case I would say the gauge is the culprit the customer also complained of the speedometer not working correctly on the gauge so we're gonna order a gauge and see what happens